What's up guys, welcome back to my channel y'all. So I'm gonna just pull some cards and get a message out for you guys. I definitely do hope the messages resonate for y'all and I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful, okay? And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into the video for y'all, okay? You got the Page of Pentacles coming out, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Seven of Swords. You got the Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and you do also have the Emperor. You could have someone, this could be a father figure, um, doesn't have to, I'm gonna just say, it, it could be a father figure, um, it, this could be a husband with this hierophant, the emperor, this could even be a boss. Um, someone wants you to almost like take something in con into consideration, especially with this two of pentacles, page of wands. And this could even be like a belief with the hierophant, like a religious belief, any type of belief. And it's like somebody wants you to walk away from yours. Mm -hmm. Somebody really wants to gaslight you into thinking basically something else with the sun at the bottom. And the temperance as I open it up. You got Taurus energy, Aries as well so far. Because what this is, is it's almost like, especially if you are like religious or you're into like spirituality, whatever you're kind of like, whatever you kind of like believe, someone wants to like gaslight you or like basically have points or reasonings as to why you should be believing in something else. Like somebody really wants to shift your perception on some sort of like belief, but whatever this is, whatever you believe in is almost like somebody sees it working for you. Like whatever this belief is, someone sees like you almost like being blessed for this as well I'm, I'm hoping that's making sense like somebody sees what type what path you're going down and it has to do something with religion what's this higher thing yeah with the hangman coming out in reverse you have the nine of cups with the four of swords What's this hangman in reverse? You got the ace of pentacles with the ten of pentacles and you got the nine. Somebody sees something that you believe in is what's bringing you some sort of success and they want, they don't like it. I'm not sure, like you could be a speaker as well. It's something that you do. Almost like somebody's a religious leader, like a pastor, um, like the people that can construct a uh, masjid prayer. Um, I'm hoping, you know, no disrespect. I'm only been to the masjid once and I was very, very young. So... Um, but just someone who leads like prayers or speeches or, you know, they uplift people. Someone sees you doing this and they don't like it. And whoever this person is, they believe in the opposite of you. So if you're Christian, this person could be Muslim and vice versa. If you're Muslim, this person could be Christian. If you're spiritual, this person could be whatever under the sun. I'm just, you know, and it definitely could be a family member as well. This is somebody who sees some way of you creating finances for yourself and, and almost like elevating financially. It's almost like this person... Mm. they didn't expect a certain a certain belief to work out for you especially for it to bring you some sort of like income or support and this definitely could be a father figure as well or just somebody who's very controlling dominant like just somebody who like hates the fact that you Go against something or mm, mm, what's this emperor? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, you got the magician. What's what's this emperor with the magician? You got the king of cups. This could even be someone who comes off as like supporting as well. With this king of cups. This is magician with the king of cups. Yeah, you got the ace of wands in reverse with the cherry. Yeah, it's something about mm, some sort of new beginning you're going towards. 
Somebody does not like something that you're stepping into. They don't. They don't even like the way people are following you because you're changing up like how people see a certain group of people, a certain religion as well. This is somebody who thinks literally one way. This person could be a cancer, heavy cancer energy with this king of cups in the chariot, literally with the knight of wands. What's this ace of wands in reverse? Yeah, you got the fool coming out, the three of swords with the ten of wands. Somebody was really like praying on someone's downfall or praying that something wasn't going to work out as well as it is for you. And this could be anything. It, it could actually be a job move as well, but it's something to where it's like someone sees you're on the top of your game or you're like the top of your class as well. Like you do something so well that it's gaining phenomenal support as well or, or praises. Like I don't... Mm. And whoever this person is, especially with this Ace of Wands in reverse, they were hit to when you started this or when you enrolled in whatever this is, and they really deemed that this was not going to work out in your favor. Like, whoever this is, they were like, that's not going to go anywhere. Like, this is... Ooh. With the devil at the bottom. This is somebody who's very sinister, especially in the way they think. Like, this is somebody who, yeah, with the temperance, like, you being at peace or, like, you just going with the flow of things and things naturally kind of, like, coming to... Someone hates the fact that, like, things naturally come to you. Um, and they hate the... Like, somebody's a very, very powerful manifester in a way where it's just, like, you don't have to do too much. Like, I don't know. It's something to where it's, like, someone sees a certain group of people... Or a certain group of like religious people, one went, this has to do with something like religious, like religion, it seems like, or not even just religion, a belief. It could just be like a belief. Someone seen, whatever you believe in, someone seen like those group of people is one way, but it's almost like you're changing how, let's, we could just do spirituality. You're changing the way someone perceives it. People perceive it as well. Perceive it as well. You're changing the way people kind of like look at it in a whole. And it's because of like how well something's working out for you. What's this Eight of Cups? With the King of Swords coming out. You also have the Eight of Wands. Someone wants you to... It, mm. 88 could be significant as well. This could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Doesn't have to be, but you're very, very enlightening. <laughs> like somebody's very bright, very bright. And I feel like you don't even really like know. I feel like this is the severity of it. Like someone doesn't even know how serious something like actually is. Like someone mm, is very uplifting. And I don't even think they really are paying attention to like the, af the influence that they're having on other people through something that they're saying as well, through some way of like being. Like somebody's very open-minded. You can have a cat. Somebody could even have um, like a Siamese cat. Somebody's favorite movie could be Lady and a Tramp as well. It's that scene with them cats were like singing, the little, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, someone has a, has a cat. There's something about a cat. You should probably get a cat. I'm not getting no cat. <laughs> but it's something about a cat, okay? Yeah, with the temperance. Somebody just sees you in a very, like, peaceful manner to the point where it's shake. Like, someone wants to shake you. Like, it's... <laughs> It's annoying. Like this is somebody who someone really wants to get under your skin very, very bad. And it's because you're like at peace as well. Like someone, especially if you're like you moved away from someone, like someone feels like they can't agitate you anymore. What's this page of wands? You have the seven of pentacles. What's this uh seven of pentacles? You got the three of pentacles coming out in reverse with the four of wands after that in the uh, reverse as well. Yeah, this was somebody who was praying like something. Yo, I would honestly say continue to do what you're doing. Um, Cause with the page of wands, the seven of pentacles, someone is even like possibly, especially if you do something like online or 
you work with like a large group of people as well, there's something towards like someone sending messages about this work. What's the three of pentacles in reverse with the four of wands in reverse? What's the three of pentacles in reverse with the four of wands in reverse? You got the Hermit, the Sun, yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Cups. This is somebody hoping that people ghost you because, of, like, someone wants you to be looked at as, like, weird. This could be a Leo. Like, someone's really jealous of you. Like, really jealous of you about, like, the love and the support that you get. Because, again, something that you're doing, someone wanted you to be looked at as, like, weird because of it. Like you're unattractive as well because of it. Like it's it's someone. Mm. Cause I feel like you're also shifting the perception as well, especially if you're like, oh, I don't do third parties and you know, and just things like that. This is someone who's definitely in a feminine energy, whether man or woman. Um, this is again, I feel like this this is a, a man in feminine, like through and through feminine energy, especially if it's a man. He's yeah. Um Again, or it could be a Virgo. But whoever this person is, they don't want you to be seen as like lovable. They don't even want you to be seen as someone who can be worked with. Yeah, literally with the five of wands at the bottom and the ten of cups is our opening. The five of wands is a, you don't want to fight with whoever it is. Mm -hmm. Like somebody wants to pick like a fight, but it's almost like a, a fight to where it's like, this person doesn't even want it to be out in the open or seen. Like this is a, such a coward, I feel like, like it's baffling to me. Like this is somebody who would not do something or say something directly to your face. Like this is somebody who wants it to seem like you have a problem with them. Like it's weird. And it's like, you don't. You could possibly not even care less about this person or not even care about them in the situation anymore. Like, this is something to where you're probably like, what the, like? Because again, this is somebody who wants to still feel important. And it's something that you're doing to kind of like, something that somebody does, especially if this was like a player and they, they had you possibly wrapped up in third party. Someone, by you moving on and kind of like elevating, whether it's, you know, you, you work in entrepreneurship, you're finishing like school, you're, you're just progressing in your own world, in your own life, um, and you're not entangled in whatever this is. People are seeing you, especially with this person, because I feel like this is somebody who's still carrying on the same way you left them. So this somebody still like in a player like energy and they just third parties and they doing whatever. This person is still in that energy um, as well, still wanting to receive as well. This person wants to receive a lot of love from you and not give you anything. With this Queen of Wands in reverse, the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, with this, this person wants to suck you dry, okay? And not in a good way. <laughs> it's not in a good way. <laughs> this person wants to like really deplete you, especially like the love. Like I don't, mm -mm. this is somebody who's very surprised that you were able to pick yourself back up and like, you're showing someone God is like real. With the Ten of Cups, especially with this Ace of Cups, there's almost like someone wanted to drain you again, drained by Latoya Lucky. Um, but it was like your love and your love for like yourself and the love for like life and the zest for like life. Like someone, mm, cause this is exactly how this person feels. That's what, especially with this Queen of Wands in reverse. This is somebody who feels like they have to do ungodly things for a come up as well. This is a very sad person, a very sad person. And it's almost like this person hates the fact that you don't have to like do the things or get into the things that they do to kind of like elevate or seem successful. It's something about success, like success. And this was somebody who was deeming you to not be successful at one point in time or something that you were doing wasn't gonna be successful at one point in time. What's this Queen of Wands in reverse? Like this is somebody who really wants to be praised and but it's almost like, what do you do? Like it's somebody who really wants to like be looked at as some sort of like savior, like a god as well. But it's almost like, what what do you do besides possibly create third parties and broken homes? Especially with the three of pentacles in reverse, with the four of wands, the seven of pentacles, and the page of wands. This is somebody who's very immature, especially most likely sexually. 
Yeah, this is somebody who would who would like secretly sleep with someone's partner as well. This person has broken a lot of homes. This person has broken a lot of homes, a lot of homes. Where there was like equal investments. Like this person has shocked partners because they got involved with, you know, cheating scandal. Yeah, this is a, this is sad. What's this Queen of Wands in reverse? You got the Five of Cups coming out. And what's the Five of Cups? I think this is the moon. Oh, oh, that's two. Oh. Yeah, you got the moon coming out with the Two of Wands. And it did come out in reverse. Again, you got Leo energy, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces with this moon. This was somebody who did not want you to be chosen. This was somebody who was even trying to secretly hide your potential, um, your spark, like almost like your personality. This was somebody who was trying to cover you, almost to make people um, see you as someone who is not special, like at all. Like, I don't, this is crazy. This is somebody I would stay away from. I really, really would, because this person is like, something is going in your favor, especially after you departed from them. We're gonna figure out the rest because there's still more cards to clarify. But this is again with someone who did not want you to feel chosen either. They don't want you to feel good about yourself at all, especially not about something that you do that brings you a lot of happiness. It's something that you do that brings you a lot of happiness and someone can tell um, and it's bringing like luck into your life, new beginnings into your life. Like someone feels like you elevating and being successful and really only worried about kind of like yourself is a dig to them with the three of cups. And this is somebody who could have not even have treated you correctly either. Like this is somebody who wants to treat you wrong and for you to be okay with it. Cause this person feels like they can do that as well. This is somebody who really feels like they are God. They really do. Like they feel like they can go around doing stuff to people, especially you. It's something about you that someone like got a kick out of doing something to. Like seriously. And I feel like it's it's an energy of like a pureness, um, a sweetness. Whether you are a man or a woman, you, you come off as very, very sweet. Um, not even naive. You come off as a very caring person. Cause I feel like of course nowadays in the world we just lack genuine likeness i feel like you know that's my own personal opinion um and i feel like you are you are someone who comes along um excuse me you are you are a one in a million chance the type of person that is one in a million that someone like comes across i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry because this is so disheartening but basically all i'm trying to say is care <laughs> continue to care to can you to continue to be sweet this person does not want this to come out at all because i've never even been in tongue tied before i've been tongue tied but i've never ever been this tongue tied like i can't even get it out it feel like my tongue is about to wrap around itself but this is somebody who like i said noticed that you genuinely do care um and at one point in time you genuinely cared about possibly just them as a person their well-being um, and this is somebody who wanted to take advantage of that. Even if this is like a family member, this person knew you were like an empath. Um, you were a child of like, basically a child divine. And whoever this person is, they wanted to really take advantage of that. And almost they wanted to beat that out of you as well. Especially if you are a man and you were like sensitive, you could have just been, you know, you, you felt emotion. Um, you could have had a parental figure who did not like that at all. Um, even if you are a part of the gay community, someone, feels like something should not go your way simply because you are that, you are gay. Like someone feels like you should not be happy, you shouldn't be successful. It's something, mm, like it's something you can't control that someone feels like you shouldn't even be being praised. You shouldn't even be liked because you're this or you believe in that or yeah, it's terrible. But this person doesn't even see that like the hate the energy of hate that they're like embodying is what's like blocking them. Like someone is really confused as to why like you're successful or something's going your way or it's almost like a thing to where it's like, even if, you know, you don't push your hardships or you don't talk about it often, someone just feels like you don't have any at all. And that's just not real life. Like 
even if someone isn't talking about, you know, um, misfortunes or what are you doing? Um, their misfortunes, that doesn't mean they're not going through them. You get what I'm saying? Like just because someone isn't sharing their hardships or just things that just happens to everybody in their, their regular life doesn't mean that like people aren't going through it. It doesn't mean that you're not going through it. You get what I'm saying? This is somebody who feels like because you're not talking about something or because you're not showing, you know, people that you're hurting that, you know, you're not being affected by something or, you know, misfortunes isn't happening in your life. And that's again, just, just not it. I'm hoping that makes sense, y'all, because I feel like just, mm. you really do have somebody wishing that like they were you in some way, shape or form, especially if this is like a family member, especially honestly, if this is a, a, a parental figure. This is somebody who feels like, almost like they had the type of life you had when they were coming up. Like someone feels like you have a lot more going for yourself than they did when they were your age as well. Like instead of encouraging you, this person really does send you an evil eye, especially again, if it's like a, it's something about a parental figure, a father. Like this person literally envies you because how well like liked you are. And it's almost like a genuineness. Like this person feels like people kind of see past them like a facade as well. Um, and they don't like it. But with you, it's like people give you like, you know, uh, genuine chances. People really want to do get to know you. People are actually nice to you. People support you. People defend you. This person does not like that at all. They don't like it at all. This person is very fake. This is a very fake person. Very fake person. What's the two of Pentacles? We got the Knight of Wands. What's the Two of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands? You got the Six of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this was somebody at one point in time wanted you to be confused about what path to take for yourself as well. This could even be someone who wanted to steer you down the wrong path. Like, Can I get one more? You got the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. 66 could be significant. What's this Two of Pentacles? Can I get one more? What's this Two of Pentacles? Oh, you got the Knight of Swords in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. It's something someone feels like you did not listen to them about. Like somebody feels like you dropped some sort of advice they used to try to give you as well. It's some sort of action or some sort of, some sort of way of being that you you gave up on and someone sees that it's bringing you more success. Now you're being guided in the right direction because you let something that they deemed was correct, the correct path, the correct way go. You let that go. You left a certain lifestyle go as well. You could have, you could have had some destructive vices, some destructive patterns of your own. And you kind of, you just was like, things aren't going like some way of being for you possibly in the past i didn't really get the six of cups but of course it could definitely be of the past but someone is very, like seeing that like some way of being something that they are investing in something that they are doing is not bringing forth certain outcomes that they would want for them, their own selves like someone feels like they were not going down a path of like greatness goodness either like someone just felt like a certain path that someone was trying to lead them down or someone wanted you to be a part of was bringing more destruction if anything and it's almost like you going towards or going down a path of your own and creating, honestly, like, like it's literally looking like someone is creating a path on their own. Like everybody's going left, there's people going right, but you're going like straight down your own path. You're, you're moving boulders, you're, you're, you're sweeping up glass, whatever the case may be. And it's almost like you have people looking back at you now because they're all in groups. Like everybody is now grouped up on the left, grouped up on the right. And it's almost like these people, those same people are not getting nowhere. It's almost like just a lot of chaos. Everybody's trying to fight for power. Everybody's trying to figure out, you know, who's right, who's wrong. But the whole time you're gone now. Like all they see is just this big ass road um, and it's deserted. And it's almost like so-and-so went down this path. But where are they at now? And then once they, once these people get down this path, they see a big old house or something like that. Like, it's crazy. You have people really paying attention to you right now. Something that you're doing. And I feel like you're guiding a lot more people than I feel like you even think that you are, especially if you, and you don't even have to be, that's the craziest thing, like online. You don't even have to be an entrepreneur. You don't have to be, it's some way of moving that you're,
Let me skip the rest. Look, the tower. You are shocking people. Because, again, at the end of it, people see this beautiful castle, even though, it, you know. And you're not even accepting people. <laughs> people feel like you don't want to be bothered. It could be an Aquarius as well. Like, people feel like you are focused um, on just things that are bettering you as an individual. Like, it's almost like a thing where it's just like, if I can't be a part of your foundation, if I don't even like being a part of your foundation, I'm about to go create my own foundation. And it's almost like it's people that wasn't shooting with you in the gym that now wants to be a part of this. Almost like I um, seen an uh, interview and it was with Monica, um, the singer Monica, and it's almost like the system of the ladder type of thing. Like you met people that possibly didn't really believe in something that you wanted to do. Um, really wanting to find a way back around to you. Um, I would be very wary about that because I feel like you're going to have people who fall against some sort of plan you had or plan for success you had. Like you had people, especially if you were sharing like your ideas or the things you wanted to do for your life, or you know, just different ventures, of, you know, avenues that you wanted to go down. You had people in their head, kind of second guessing your ability to accomplish those things. And it's something that you're doing. If you're not doing it already, something's going to grow so large for you. I feel like to where you're, those same people are going to try to make their way back around to you and you're going to pay them dust. And when I say it's going to hurt these people, not saying that you should care, but because I want to say the other is more ill people. It's going to really, someone's ego is going to be bruised because I almost feel like whoever this person is, they want to come back now. That's why I definitely do feel like they're being talked about because there's one person in particular again this could be a father figure it doesn't have to be whoever this person is they're controlling this could be a baby's father as well this could be an overbearing mother as well i'm gonna keep it you know honest with you it could be any one that's just very very controlling again domineering as well this person craves power and it's almost like a thing to where it's like this person feels like you should follow again their belief you should be following me this person does, that person does, he does, she does, they do, the cat does, the dog, does, everybody listens to me. You should be doing the same thing. And it's almost like a thing to where, again, you're finding your own way. You're finding your own path throughout life. And this person see it working for you. They honestly see other people following you as well. Um, and almost like believing in the same things, the believing in the same way of like doing something and achieving the same outcome to where you have someone shaking in their boots. Because it's almost like this person feels like, if this person continues to grow and people really believe in what they're saying and they actually see like things working out for them, people are going to start following them instead of me. And then who am I at that point? What's this emperor? Can I get one more? You got the judgment with the four. Yeah. This person knows eventually they people are going to stop following them. People are going to start casting like judgment on them as well. Cause it's almost like a, a, a certain way of being like people are going to start to pay attention to you and someone else and they're going to say like well this person actually is doing very well for themselves whereas though whatever you believe in you've been doing this for years and you're still in the same place you haven't gotten anywhere i don't know mm, mm, mm. because i feel like again someone had a lot to say about some sort of belief or something that you were like stepping into And people are seeing it work out for you. So now they're looking at someone else like, maybe you should be jumping on that bad wagon too. What's this nine of pentacles? What's the nine of pentacles? Whoa. You got the justice card coming out here with the king of pentacles. Sturdy energy. You could be an earth sign, a Libra. Heavy Virgo as well. With this hermit card. You deserve to be sitting pretty. I feel like that's honestly some sort of like justice that's coming in for you. Maybe even want to be a mother um, or a father. Like someone could even want to be a parent one day. You could even be expecting, okay? Someone could even be like, a, it's heavy Taurus energy too. I just paid attention. It's this bull on the side of this person's seat on the King of Pentacles. That's why somebody like really, someone feels like you were like not hard headed, 
but like something some way of like someone feels like they can't shake you and i feel like again that's something that's so irritating to them because it's like someone is so used to being able to gaslight people um into like thinking one way or believing in something like someone feels like you have a, a head on your shoulder that they want to knock off <laughs> <laughs> like seriously like someone feels like yeah man like someone feels like mm, like they want to scream at you like someone really wants to fight with you like bad and may, not necessarily like physically fight but it's almost like a fight of like belief it's a fight to to be right type of thing. I don't know, this person's like really annoying with the three of cups. And I would stay clear of like gatherings. Like this person could invite you out, especially if this is family. Like this is somebody who like wants to appear so strong, so dominant, but they want to do it in front of like followers, like people they feel like are on their side. I don't know. Like someone really wants you to feel excluded because of like some way you believe in, something you believe in, some way of living as well. And it's almost like whoever this person is, they're going to they're going to look crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier the longer they do this as well. Because it's almost like someone's going to lose complete focus. Like, and then by the time they, re oh, you're going to be so far along. By the time I feel like someone like reaches out to you or tries to like come back, like you're not even going to be in the same place anymore. I feel like, and even if you are physically, mentally, you won't be. Like you're you're surpassing someone in every way, shape, or form. Like whoever you are, I will honestly say you have the potential, whatever age you're at now, you have the potential to think and believe 10, 10 to 20 years plus. So like say if you're 30, you're gonna think like a 40 year old, a 50 year old, like you have the potential to do that, especially if you already don't feel like you do now. Like someone's like a very old soul, whether you feel like you are or not. And I feel like that's how people view you as well. And some people are just so baffled for it, like baffled. Like you have people who are so much older than you wondering like how can you process certain things the way you do how can you see certain ways like certain things the way you do especially if you haven't even really experienced a lot of like just craziness or just malicious like people like people who people feel like you see oh gosh you see someone definitely could be like some sort of like seer What's this page of Pentacles? You got the strength with the devil. You got Capricorn energy out here. What's this uh, strength with the devil? Probably one for the strength of the devil. You got the, whoa. You got the three of wands out here. Come on, let's, let's not mess up the spread now, Jared. I'm gonna, <laughs> give me one second. For the strength in the devil, you got the ten of swords out here, the eight of swords, you have the empress, and you got the three of wands. This was somebody who wanted to steer you down a path of pure destruction, um, vices with the world. Um, and you could have been through like abuse at a very, very early age. Um, I don't really want to talk about it too much because that could be like triggering, and I don't even know how that goes on YouTube. But um, if you know, you know, if you know, you put one and two together. Um, and even if something did happen to you, especially in, the, in in your youth, and you are able to kind of, someone expected something to keep you stuck, okay? Something, someone expected something that happened to you to really have you um, not even just stuck, just messed up, especially mentally, um, belief-wise. Like someone really wanted you to let go of yourself. Um, because again, whoever this person is from a very early age, they seen you were a child divine. And this was somebody who, again, wanted to steer you in the direction to where the divine and our God would kind of like leave you, um, which neither will, will ever do that. Um, in my personal opinion, especially not God, um, we'll discipline you, but he'll never leave you. <laughs> um, and the, dis the discipline is through the lessons, especially if you're not learning them. Oh, you're going to learn them over. You won't, 
you're gonna go through it over and over and over again until you learn that lesson and then you're gonna get another test just to see if you really learned what i put you through you get hopefully that made sense um at least that's how it happened that, that man put me through some things okay um and it was for the better it's for the betterment of it, of your future self you get what i'm saying you learn how to treat people you learn how you want to be treated you just learn how to how to um bounce energy off of like people like when you really learn how to do that things just flow a little bit more easy you're able to smile a little bit longer child okay you're able to live a little bit longer too all right but again this was somebody who possibly went through something um in their youth okay and it doesn't have to be you know anything crazy either it it could be something a form of like neglect um and whoever this person is they took that too hard this is somebody who is very blocked um i feel like emotionally um and mentally as well um especially if this is a woman because now i am getting kind of like a woman um could be a mother a baby's mother as well take the energy how it resonates you know um because this could this could be a capricorn as well um a gemini with the ten of swords we could say leo with the strength i'll put that out there but this was someone who possibly felt like they never really got anywhere and and mainly in life like this is someone who feels like they gave up on like a dream or they gave up on something that they wanted to do um because whoever this person is they couldn't get past some sort of trauma that they experienced this is someone who possibly been through a really really bad you know relationship where there could have been um you know abuse you get what i'm saying and this was someone who after that um after that relationship or even if this was like a parental figure that you know this person was experienced the abuse from all they did was attract those same people those same you know abusive relationships even if it's not physical or even one was physical and they got out of that they moved on to someone else who could have been verbally abusive like this was someone who never seen the patterns and so way of like it, whether it was in their dating life um whether it was in their own life of like how they showed up for people as well because drama can make you do some crazy things especially if you don't really sit back and you know you really evaluate what's going on and how you're really feeling because a lot of times that's you have to sit with yourself um but yeah i feel like geez I'm gonna clarify some more because I feel like there's more to be said, but you got heavy Capricorn energy, Taurus, Libra again, um, Gemini, Leo. Like this is somebody who is still stuck in a cycle no matter how old they are. Like this is somebody who's stuck in one way of being as well. What's the seven of swords? Whoever this person is, they've been through something that they don't talk about. Like, I don't know. We're mm, gonna see. What's the seven of swords? With the six of wands and the knight of cups? What's the seven with the five of sword? Yeah, I would stay clear from whoever, that, especially if you would know who this individual is, especially if it's just one person in particular, um, even if it is like a group, I would stay clear because it's somebody who wants to, this is somebody who is faking something with the seven of swords, you got the six of wands with the knight of cups, and it's some sort of like success. This is somebody who's post possibly like faking some sort of like happy relationship um, or happy friendships as well. This is somebody who's wanting to appear successful, liked, well learned, well established. But with the seven of swords, is 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 a it's a tactic. Like somebody is trying to appear again like a leader and it's almost like the way of like living that they're like the way of a way of being or some type of like lifestyle that they're that they have is what's bringing the success that what's bringing these people you know around that like them and want to dote on them when in reality it's not in reality it's almost like yeah like this is somebody who draws people in and again after a while this person loses people like people they either fall out or it's a really really bad argument yeah you're tired now <laughs> or it's a really really bad argument and it's because people start to see this person for who they really are like there's somebody who really has a mask on 
but it's a thing to where it's like again once people get really really close this person can't they have to take it off eventually this person yeah they're not a good mask wearer <laughs> what's this seven of swords oh, with the world could be a fixed sign a Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, a Libra. A Libra. It could be a Leo. A Libra. I meant to say Leo. Someone really doesn't want you talking about something. Or finding out about something. What's this world? You got a few. You got the Temperance coming out. You got the Six of Pentacles with the Tower. And you got the Queen of Swords. Whoa. This is somebody who sees, yeah, with the Five of Swords, that something that they were doing... Um, to you something that they were saying to you as well really had no effect on you like someone feels like something they did or said to you did not touch you even if it did even if it secretly did hurt your feelings or secretly did put you down someone feels like you carried that like a g like it's all jokes aside like someone feels like you are it <laughs> like i'm not even going to sugarcoat the energy that just came out right here like it's a, a boot like yo like you when i say you surprise somebody and it's with your wits in a certain situation you were able to outsmart someone like i'm sorry for all the like the babies but i don't know what like someone feels like you gave their energy right back to them in like the most classiest way possible on their like someone you stood up to someone who felt like you would have never done that like i don't like someone really passed a judgment on you heavy aquarius energy sagittarius like whoever this person is they are shocked that they were not able to like strategically deceive you with the seven of swords and the um five of uh, swords and they were trying to do it with being like kind one like this was somebody who wanted to appear like on your level like yeah i can get people to follow me too i can get people to talk nice about me too i can get people to love me too like see we're the same like that person's not special or you know what they're doing it, it, it anybody can do it and it's a thing to where it's like not necessarily <laughs> And again, the moment whoever this person is attracts like people around them, something goes awry, like something never like ends peacefully around this person. Like there's always a drama. There's always a, a terrible ending. There's always an issue. Like someone is being recognized as someone who just can never keep a friendly like environment. Like, there's always something going on with this person. There's always something to talk about. There's always something to complain about, something to argue about. Why you're not friends with this person anymore. Why you're not cool with that person anymore. Oh, yeah, that person did this to me. And whoever this is, this person likes to play victim. This is somebody who does not stand up. And they're surprised that you did. Like, whoever this person is, they want to, like, they want to be victimized. They want to be a victim. They want to be looked at that. This is somebody who will like do something to you in the moment you respond or the moment you you yell or you, you call them out for something. It's now no, like they want to cry. <laughs> like this is a real coward. With the six of cups. And this definitely could be someone who raised you as well. And this definitely could be something that happened in the past. And it's almost again, this is somebody who's seeing that something that you're doing is working out for you. It really is. And it's bringing you a lot of peace, literally, with the Two of Cups and a lot of friendlier faces. Like, this is somebody who feels like you will meet some sort of, like, soul trap as well. Like, people who think, act, and are just like you. Very sweet, kindred type of, like, people. And again, this could definitely be a, a parental figure, yo. That was very jealous of some sort of light you had. Like, you had a parental figure that could have, like, Again, always known of like some sort of gift or potential. Um, and it always seen it like you, this is a parental figure that could always, always could have been jealous, even from when you were very, very young of the attention that you got. It was something about the attention. Like there's somebody who felt like, why is people paying attention to my son or my daughter and not me? Why do people feel like, they, like this is somebody who feels like you're better looking than them. It's crazy. Cause this could be a thing to where you look exactly like this parent possibly. Like y'all have so much similar similarities that it's almost like this person hates you for it. But it's a thing to where it's like they can't outwardly say certain things or be a certain way to you because of some sort of like leadership role they feel like they have to maintain. Like there's somebody who doesn't possibly, people don't even respect them 
as much as they think that they do. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like this is somebody who's who is delusional about some sort of power that they have. And I feel like you broke through that 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 illusion as well. Like you you didn't you snipped somebody into reality as well. Like you you showed somebody like this is not that. <laughs> we cannot be disrespectful. You cannot talk to me a certain way. Like I don't mm -hmm. especially when it comes to your beliefs. Like you're showing someone you will not tolerate disrespect when it comes to like what I believe in. What's this hierophant? With the nine of swords coming out. And you got the eight of pentacles. This is seeing, this is someone seeing something working out for you. Let's switch the deck though, y'all. Let's get some new energy. You got the five of ones again at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. What's this devil card up here? Whoa. You got the queen of cups and it did come out in reverse. This could definitely be someone who felt like they were neglected emotionally as well, or um, emotionally like abused. And this was someone who felt like they couldn't walk away from whatever this situation was. Again, this could be a Capricorn, a Leo, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio even. This was even supposed to be someone who was supposed to love you. Again, especially if it was a parental figure. This could even be like someone who raised you, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent. They hated that, like how well you were like loved. It was something. It was some way of like you being able to let things go as well. Like it was a pure heart you had. Like it was easy for you to forgive people. Like you could have been someone who grew up giving people a bunch of chances. You were just really, really sweet to where someone were just like, no, like where's the devil in you? Like where's the the maliciousness in you? Like be mean. Be like this was someone who really wanted you to like get in fights as well probably even made you fight people i don't i don't mm. or encouraged you to like this is somebody who is very very negative and wanted you to be and grow up that same kind of like way what's this empress with the temperance when all you could have wanted was like peace this is somebody who really wants to be looked at as like an empress an emperor type of like energy What's this Queen of Swords? You got the Nine of Swords. Gotta get one more. What's this Queen of Swords with the Nine of Swords? Mm. You got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, with the Knight. This is somebody who feels like they are completely stopped in their tracks. What's this Five of Cups in reverse? And whoever this person is, they're trying to act like they're not emotional about it. They're trying to act like something isn't phasing them with the Six of Cups, with the Page of Cups. Definitely something could have happened, like transpired in the past that someone is still lingering about. Like someone still thinks about something that happened between you and them in the past. With the King of Swords at the bottom in reverse. What's this Page of Cups? Yeah. We got the page of wills. What's the page of cups to the page of wills? We got the devil card coming out and they wanted to come out in reverse. We got Capricorn energy out here. What's the six of cups? We got the five of wills coming out now in reverse as well. And now uh, you won't break my soul. Like somebody really wanted, yeah, with the ace of wands. Almost like, mm, like this was somebody who wanted you to be like put away so they could like, I don't know what, oh gosh. Cause even seeing it is just like, kind of like weird. Like really? Like this was somebody who wanted to get you out the way so they can kind of like live as you. I hope that like makes sense. And in some way of being that you didn't like succumb to, so where it's like now this person has to live as themselves. Like it was somebody who wanted you to like go away so they can act like you or appear like you or appear as, again as this spiritual leader, as this as, as this follower of like God. Or but this person gets into third parties. They possibly steal. They again they mess up happy home. Like this is somebody who does not follow in the correct way of like what they believe in. Like this person doesn't have to be Christian. This person could be Muslim. Or again, this person doesn't have to be Muslim. This person could be any type of 
religion, but they want to be looked at as like the leader. They want to like, but that's why they call themselves whatever religion they are is because this person wants some sort of backing. Like, I don't know, this person really craves to be superior than other people. Like badly. What's this devil in reverse? You got the two of pentacles, you got the world, and you got the eight of cups. This is somebody who is honestly seeing you have control over some sort of low vibration. Like someone feels like you are like in the under, the whatever world, the underworld, the underground, like this is Castlevania. I don't know if you could, you could watch possibly like Castlevania um, is on Netflix, um, but it's like, you know, vampires and, you know, it's one of those type of shows and they got like witches and just things like that. And, you know, they fight the vampires or whatever. It's kind of like that. Like someone feels like you have such a hole on low vibrational energy, especially like your lower vibrational like vices and things like that. Like someone feels like, you got a hold of like possibly you could have had an addiction you could have and it doesn't even have to be an addiction you could have just done something like an excess as well like someone feels like you're honing on to all of that you could have even been like hypersexual or you could have had like a sex addiction like it's something that someone thought you were never going to be able to leave behind even if it's them and you did it or you're doing it and they see it with the Ten of Pentacles, it could definitely be a family member. With the Five of Wands. What's this Two of Pentacles? You got the Page of Swords and you got the Ace of Wands coming out with the Ten of Cups. Definitely could be a family member. Seeing you build something. Build something that you love as well. And they're seeing other people love it too. This was somebody who did not want you to be seen by like a large community or like be praised for some some sort of like gift, some sort of talent. With the Emperor's in reverse, this person wanted you to be looked at as an Emperor's in reverse, very needy, codependent, man or woman. With the Ten of Swords, and it's because whoever this person is, man or woman, this is exactly how they are. This is somebody who does project heavily. They project on you heavily. Heavily. This person could even be like divorced, separated as well. Like they don't have happy relationships in their life. Whoever this person is, they don't. And honestly, they have a track record of like people they don't get along with, like people that don't like like them. And it's like people that don't like this person, not like this person doesn't like them. It's almost like who, uh, yeah, the energy is terrible. <laughs> it's just really bad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's people that don't like this person. It's not like this person doesn't like people. No, like this person goes around and really tries to, especially people who are genuinely like happy, um, who they feel like, again, has a good head on their shoulder. Like those are the people this person targets. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> but those are the people this person targets and it's to make them appear less than what they actually like are. What's this Eight of Swords? You got the Hierophant coming out and you got the, the Hangman. Someone is, in, is enlightened with the Ten of Wands and someone could even be getting karma for doing this as well. Like someone is seeing that like God is real. Whatever you believe in is real, child. Someone is seeing this, like the divine is real and they see that like you're doing some sort of work that makes you even more loved for that, if that makes sense. Like someone feels like you were protected before, but like now that you're doing something that is purposeful for you and it like, it has something to do with God. Like somebody is seeing that like now you're even more protected than you ever were before. Like now someone feels like lower vibrations can't really affect you or get close to you anyway. Like you have people who want to come forth with like disturbing energy or try to wrap you again back into third parties. It's something about a third party that people feel like they cannot get you into anymore like people really wanted you to be like third parties like they wanted you to be the other person like people really wanted to like be in relationships and wanted to sleep with you like i don't know that was like a thing like i don't that's weird but you had someone like wanting to do that like not wanting to make you the partner but have someone that they entertain but like sleep with you it's weird and disturbing 
Cause it's almost like how dare it. Like this is a, ugh. Ugh. You got Taurus energy, Pisces. Heavy Pisces with the King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Mm. You got heavy Taurus energy as well. Somebody is just going broke. Too. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles as well, with the Queen of Swords. And these could be men and women from your past. People that you just encounter. Friends, colleagues, lovers. Again, it could be a parental figure as well with the King of Wands. With the Six of Swords. And there's something that's about your attracting the people feel like you are... <laughs> getting more youthful or like more beautiful by the day and it's something that again is some way of living that you're doing like someone feels like because you're drama free you're getting everything that you want i hope that made like sense like you're dropping people what's this eight of wands in reverse like people feel like they can't even like message you project on you you got the three of wands coming out in reverse with the justice in reverse what's the three of wands in reverse with the justice in reverse you got the seven of cups coming out with the strength in reverse. Like people feel like now it's their karma to be like be like someone feels like now people are casting illusions on them. Like they don't have the strength anymore to do something, especially not to you with the will of fortune in reverse. Like someone feels like they are losing some sort of power. Someone feels like they're getting karma in the worst way. What's this seven of cups with the strength? With the knight of wands and the nine of wands coming out in reverse. Whoever this person is, they don't feel protected at all. Like they feel like, someone feels like whatever they believe in is allowing people to kind of like come against them the same way they came against you. Literally with the ace of swords in reverse with the knight of cups in reverse. They are being met with like untrustworthy people, people that meet them with mask now. Like someone came towards you with a mask, they're experiencing that. I feel like times 10, I ain't even gonna hold you. Times 10 with the high priestess. And I feel like it's cause they mess with the wrong one. Like someone, yeah, I don't, I don't. And I feel like somebody's gonna find a lot out through Terra with the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. What's going on over the reversals? This is Eight of Swords in reverse. I was about to say, you got the Fool coming out, you got the Judgment in reverse with the Magician. Yeah, somebody follows with the Lovers in reverse. Someone does not love themselves, especially not as much as they pretend that they do. And it's coming out and it's showing in a way of like a lifestyle that they're living. Like, I don't know if someone's like going broken. We do not encourage that. We do not project that onto people. And I, I don't care how bad I get along with you or not. Um, that energy is just not good to kind of project onto other people, so we're just not going to do that. But somebody is seeing that some path that they went down, especially if they were like just being a follower, like someone was being a follower almost like their entire life, and it's almost like they're seeing that that has gotten them nowhere. It has gotten them nowhere to where you being a leader and you following down your own path and you following yourself, um. And using your brain okay because that's really what all of this i feel like is like somebody was not thinking about some sort of outcome or thinking about okay if i do this now how is this going to play out two to three years from now or when this person gets old like someone was not thinking ahead um because they were so full of themselves like someone is so uh egotistical they are so full of themselves um could even be attracted but it's just like this type of energy makes you so ugly like you could be the most gorgeous person in the world man or woman but if you have some disturbing energy like this you are automatically ugly to me okay especially if, I, if you let me find out <laughs> you are automatically unattractive to me um especially yeah especially if you're not encouraging like come on bro um for your purpose like this was somebody who was purposely like manipulating people to go down the wrong path like this is someone who creates stuck individuals seriously and again, whatever path that they went down, being a follower, following people that do not genuinely love them, this person sees they're living, they're living just like those people. They're having to struggle. Like someone feels like they're struggling and they feel like you're not, okay? Could be a Gemini. We'll end it there, right? But, um, and this person definitely wants to communicate with you and you could not want to communicate with them at all, especially with the seven. Yeah, you could not want to communicate 
whoever this person is like at all you cannot want to invest you just this person feels like hell no i won't go <laughs> like someone feels like a hell no i won't go okay and they feel like it's because of your belief like someone feels like you have grown to be so strong and i feel like you're not even this person feels like they almost like they haven't even seen nothing yet like it's an energy to where it's like you, you someone is very anointed to where like people from their past has not even seen nothing yet okay but yeah y'all that was y'all and i definitely do hope the messages resonate for you guys and i definitely do hope the messages were overall useful okay and until next time guys